China, but obviously the worldwide pandemic postponed those plans. Still, their focus is to get this win and move towards a world title eliminator in their next matchup. Yes, yes, and I can see that happen, especially if he looks real good and impressive in this fight right here. So far, he's starting off with a good jab. He's put smart pressure, that crunk pressure on his opponent, and it doesn't seem like this is going to go to distance. Well, Sugar Hill Stewart told us that they've been working on the mental aspect with Vladimir Shishkin, that they went to throw the power shot, setting up the knockout punch. Sugar Hill went on to expound and say that the mental focus is different. They felt that Vladimir was going to be a significant problem for any of the world champions, and they still feel that way even that much more. Wow, that's very impressive. And Sugar Hill, he does know boxing. Like he didn't have, what, 10, 10 pro, two, 10 championship um, fighters? Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, so. More he, than what I can uh, <laughs> right. you know, keep track of. Yes, yes, and he's learned a whole lot from Emmanuel, and he's actually giving it to his fighters now. Shiskin's looking good. He's like he's keeping the pressure. He's keeping the pressure on his opponent. There's a left hand that connected for Oscar Riojas, a grazing shot. But Oscar Riojas, when we asked him what his motivation was, aside from his 12-year-old son, he said, I want to get a win in the United States. He's 0-9 here in the States. Yes, if he can get here with them hooks and right hands, he's going to be 0-10. Well, there is Shishkin who just backed up. Oscar Riojas with a nice left hook. I like the punch placement, too, of Shishkin. Yes, you can tell he's gelling with Sugar Hill. When he first got with Sugar Hill, he was learning. Now he's actually he actually has it now. It's coming together. There's a right to the body by Shishkin. And Sugar Hill was real big on footwork, too. So if you notice that whenever, ooh, right Big Rio. right hand as Riojas has his back on the ropes, and Riojas cannot afford to be on the ropes because Shishkin will tee off on him. And one, one thing I know about Sugar Hill, too, is that he doesn't care about having the, um, the, the left foot on the outside of the southpaw. And I love that about him, that you can place your feet anywhere. Just because he's southpaw doesn't mean nothing. He's a man like I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that proverbial mentality to put the left foot outside of the lead front foot. But you're saying that Sugar Hill Stewart has dispelled that myth. Absolutely, absolutely. Because you can dog a man if you put your foot inside. And as long as you do it the right way, and just watch out for the left hand. And you're good. Final moments of the first round so far. Vladimir Shishkin dominating Oscar Riojas as round one comes. This one is scheduled for 10. For Oscar Riojas, he's coming off of a loss at the hands of Diego Pacheco at the end of February. Has not had good luck against undefeated fighters. The undefeated fighter, he is 0-9 during that run. A jab by Vladimir Shishkin. What I like about Shishkin K-9 is the balance that he has. He's always in a good position to throw, never off balance, never in a bad spot to throw a punch. And that's what Sugar Hill teaches. Te he teaches the balance. And if you don't have a good balance, you know, that's even in the Bible. you got to have a just weight. you got to have a good balance. If you don't have a good balance, you'll be falling all over the place. So if you notice the fight in Tyson Fury with Sugar Hill training him, he had a great balance. So the balance is good, and you can get right back in and throw something big. Taking out a veteran in Oscar Riojas, who had been in the ring against the likes of Ronald Gavrillo, Manuel Alim, Joe George, who just picked up a vicious knockout win over Marcos Escudero a couple weeks ago. But right now it is Vladimir Shishkin who is using his jab as a rangefinder and then uncorking that right hand. Absolutely. And all you need really is the basics. You know, all he's doing is a simple one-two, straight right hand lead, balance. Stepping back, stepping back in, staying in range to punch. Let us not forget that Shishkin sparred with Timor Karavov, his fellow countryman. There's a big right hand shaking up. Riojas and Riojas languishing on the ropes now, has to get out of danger as he ties up. Frank Garza will separate the two. Back to work goes Shishkin. Yes, Riojas is um, in his corner on a, on a break, on a bell. He's looking at me like I can come in and help him. <laughs> you on your own, buddy. You have the suit on next to me. You are not going anywhere. And there's a right to the body by Shishkin. 
under a minute left here in the second. The 29-year-old who is controlling the pace and the tempo of this matchup against the 36-year-old from Monterrey, Mexico, and Oscar Riojas. Yes. Definitely stronger man. Siskin is the bigger, stronger man. And I think it's in a matter of time, you know. I'd be real surprised There's a right go. hand by Shishkin. Yeah, I'd be real surprised if we go the whole 10 round. Riojas is advancing forward, but Shishkin clips him with the left hook. As we are headed towards the end of this second round, our main event here on UFC Fight Pass. There's a right. Yeah, Momentarily stumbled. The cold touch gloves. Final moments of the second. Shishkin throwing power punches. And the second round draws to Vladimir Shishkin. Is how does he look physically? Because Shishkin fought his entire last fight with an injured left arm. So the fact that he's using this jab as well as he is right there, jabbing to the body and setting up right hands with that jab, that's really what you want. This is Emilius K9 Buntridge, Corey Erdman, joining you here tonight. Salida Promotions Boxing on UFC Fight Pass. It is Vladimir Shishkin, ranked number 10 by the WBC. Dimitri Salida has said that with the super middleweight title now vacant due to David Benavidez, Missing Wade prior to what was supposed to be a title defense against Alexis Angulo last week. That title is now vacant. Canelo Alvarez was put in the number one position, but the network that he's affiliated with declined the fight with Abney Yildrum. So what is going to happen? Well, Shishkin needs this win, and then he could continue to make a case for possibly elevating his ranking. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, um, I was happy that the zone didn't approve of that fight because I don't think that it was a good fight worthy of. Uh, Shishkin, if he wins impressively, which he's doing right now, I think he should be able to fight for that, that vacant belt. Like, I'd be okay with Shishkin and Abney Yildrum. Yes, yeah, yes. I think that would be a fun matchup without absolutely. question. We could do it right here on UFC Fight Pass. Absolutely, yes. You yes. Know, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Definitely should happen. See, you and I can follow in the footsteps of Mark Taffet and be a <laughs> network TV exec. Yeah, that's right. But that's right, right now, what is right is that Vladimir Shishkin is completely controlling this ring, using his jab along with the right hand. Yep. And Riojas is posing no imminent danger so far to the 29-year-old. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, Sugar Hill should call it the Sugar Hill style. <laughs> In and out, you know, in and out. I mean, you know, not not trying to bring it up, but, you know, if the bank robber goes into a bank, he doesn't stay in. He's in and out, you know what I'm saying? So right now, it's like Shishkin is trying to rob the bank. You know There's a crushing right hand by Shishkin. And Shishkin, as you mentioned, he doesn't stay in the pocket. He's always moving his feet, remaining active. Yes. And there are these slight head movements that he uses, which makes it a difficult target for Riojas to connect yeah. upon. Absolutely. Like I said, it's a Sugar Hill style. You go look at uh, Donna Stevenson, he fought the same way. Well, there's a right uppercut by Shishkin that backed up Riojas, and Riojas may be in a world of trouble. Yes, Riojas, he, um, he has a lot of heart, man, just like the last uh, opponent that, um, that was just in the ring, uh, Metcalf. And, you know. Look like you're going to have to like kill him to take him out. There's a big shot by Shishkin. Oh. Riojas is in deep trouble now. The left hook to the body. Shishkin turning up the heat here at the crunk. Yes. Riojas gets smacked with a left hook. As the round will come to a close. Corey Erdman. He got the sense that Shishkin was trying to get a bit of ring time in, trying to shake off the rust a little bit in the opening two rounds. In round three, we see him finally putting it all together. This is the Shishkin trademark. It's that quick jab and then coming behind it with that right hand before he even brings it back. It's almost like Vladimir Klitschko used to throw it. The jab and the right hand are almost coming at the same time. And then another Kronk hallmark, using different angles with that left, that right hand. Excuse what I would like to see out of Vladimir Shishkin is him be involved in an eliminator fight. I think that that is the next proverbial move for him moving forward, assuming that nothing you know, crazy happens here 
he is dominating Oscar Riojas. But again, we are dealing in a world in the pandemic. It yeah. isn't that easy to go and train and have all the amenities that you're used to. So I think it is a good comeback fight. It's a state busy fight for Shishkin. But I would like to see him in an eliminator fight if that is his course of action. He's ranked number 10 right now by the WBC. Mm -hmm. But I would love to see him in an eliminator fight in his next matchup as he goes in and continues to dominate Oscar Riojas. Yes, yes, definitely. He definitely should be um, in a title eliminator fight right now. Because he ooh, took a couple of shots there. Like he's, but, yeah, he definitely, um, he's definitely ready for that right now. I wouldn't even, you know, there, there are quite a bit of names out there that he could put his skills to the test against. You know, Caleb Truax, I know Truax yeah. is matching up against Pedro Angulo next. Who knows, that might be potentially in the cards. Kid Chocolate. Kid Chocolate as well. Or Kid Chocolate coming off the loss at the hands of Angulo last September. Who knows, maybe that could potentially be in the future for Shishkin. Here at 168. Absolutely. Let's not forget Daniel Jacobs as well. There's a right to the body oh. by Shishkin as yes. Rojas. Rojas is tough. Well, he can take a shot. There's no <laughs> mistake in that. There's a right to the body. Yes. And Riojas sort of bent over and was grimacing yes. after that punch. Yes, yes. I think I think Shishkin, he's, he's not as comfortable in the inside. See, right now, it is where he needs to be punching at. He's more comfortable on the outside going in. Once he, gets, once he gets there, he should throw more punches while he's in there. There's a left hook to the body by Vladimir Shishkin, who's trying to take his record to 11-0. Yes. He's doing what he needs to do, though. He's punishing his opponent. Rios is getting tore apart. Well, Riojas just came forward in eight. With Sugar Hill, he's, he's looking super sharp. Shishkin gets a lot of leverage behind that left hook to the body. I think that is one of his most impressive punches. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. That's probably going to be the shot if he if ends the fight, that ends the fight, the left hook to the body. Under a minute left here in the fifth round. Really appreciate you joining us wherever you are around the world. We are here at the famed Crunk Boxing Gym in the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan which has been home to so many world champions, including my broadcast colleague to my right, K-9 Bunder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we are seeing the bark and the bite from Vladimir Shishkin yes. as he is in complete stanza between Vladimir Shishkin and Oscar Riojas. We're halfway home. Though. He's been getting sharper round by round. He's been getting sharper. There's a left hook to the body by Shishkin as he backs up. And now he looks for his opening. Yes, you have to watch the head shots, you know, because, you know, Southpaw versus an orthodox fighter, his head bunts happens a lot. Say this, Oscar Riojas, you know he's fighting here in the super middleweight division, but I think he could probably go down to the middleweight division. He's looking a little bit soft in the abdominal region. I know that muscles yes. don't win fights, but yes. I think that is a little bit of a red flag. Hey, well, Andy Ruiz got away with it. Andy Ruiz Jr. got away True. with it. So but that is in the heavyweight division. <laughs> That's in the heavyweight division, right, right, yeah. So, you know, like we talked about earlier, you can't play boxing. No, no question and about it. That's what Oscar seemed like he could be doing. He could actually go down and wait. Ooh. Right now he gets tagged with a left hook followed by a right. Vladimir Shishkin in complete control. But K-9, as you're rising through the ranks, do you feel any added pressure to go on and say, all right, you know, when you start to crack the top ten, now let me go out and finish this guy. Let me really make a statement to try to elevate my ranking in my sanctioning body, well, the you sanctioning know, body that I'm ranked in. Yeah, you know what, it, a, lot, a lot of times it depends on, you know, your manager, it depends on, you know, your trainer sometimes, like like Sugar Hill is pushing him to go in and get the kill, you know, so, and, and I take my head off to Sugar Hill because he's able to, to get the instructions out because, you know, he, you know, he has, he's, he's English, you know, he speaks English, mm -hmm. so for him to be able to, to get out what he's trying to say to Shishkin and Shishkin actually is doing it, I'm very impressed with that. Well, this is their third fight together. Yes. Shishkin has been here in the United States for over a year. Yes. And he is looking impressive tonight, but I would say that 
if he didn't look impressive, then you would have to signal the alarm. But he's doing what he has to do against an opponent that people expect him to go ahead and dominate towards him. Yeah. That isn't the easiest thing in the world to do. And, you know, it could be it could be a good, it could be a bad. I look at it as good because now you got the guys that are actually a step up and want to fight you because you didn't blow this man away. You go out there and knock your opponent out who doesn't get knocked out, then now you know, people don't want to fight you. So going out there and get the W and look good getting the W, you never know who might step to the plate. Canelo might say, I want to fight him. I mean, anything is possible in <laughs> boxing. I mean, hey, final moments of the sixth. Back to Corey Erden, the seven. This one is scheduled for 10. Vladimir Shishkin dominating Oscar Riojas and Frank Garza. Oh, take his glove. You know, I got to give credit also. I got to tip my cap to Salida Promotions and the entire staff. It is not easy to put on an event during COVID and all the precautions. Times a million. And right now, Vladimir Shishkin, we are in the seventh round, ranked number 10 by the WBC at 168, trying to put on a defining and an impressive performance to increase and rise up the rankings. Yes. Especially when the title is vacant here at 168. Yes. And I think that, you know, this is real good for Shishka. Like I say, Demetri is doing a great job with, with the co-main event and the main event. Just a fight card period. But in the co-main event and main event, his fighters are getting rounds. They're, just, they're keeping him busy. They're keeping busy. And that is so important, especially if you're Vladimir Shishkin, who will probably, maybe not ne the next fight, but there are plans. They hope to have him in the next fight against an eliminator fight. But e even if it has to be two fights from now, it's yes. still imperative to remain sharp and active. And how do you do that? By gaining ring experience. Absolutely. Staying busy, fighting against guys that's going to at least give you some kind of resistance. Just going out there and just knocking someone out in the first round, you may think that, yeah, that's good, but it's not always good because you ain't getting to work. Exactly. Now you go in there with somebody that can take a punch. You don't know what to do. He's hitting back. No question about it. But Riojas has been hitting back towards Shishkin, but no he's problem. not doing too much. A lot of arm punches by Riojas, and there is Shishkin with the right to the abdomen of Riojas. Absolutely, absolutely. Look like Shishkin is just getting the rounds in. Look like he's going to try to take him to sleep or drown him in the later rounds. It's round seven now. We're going to see if he picks it up. I'd like to see some body work out of the 29. Knocked out or stop. Yes. If you're knocked out, it's 60 days yes. that you have to be put on the shelf per the athletic commission here in Michigan. Absolutely. So if you remain upright, then you can go ahead and be an opponent. And, and Oscar Riojas, Shishkin, completely dominating Oscar Riojas, getting some rounds in which are very important, especially during these times. Absolutely. We've seen some upsets over the past few months in this COVID era of boxing in the canine. Yes, yes, we have, we have. Uh, I don't see nothing happening or one happening right now. Shishkin is looking real good. You can see the sweat just every time you throw a punch, the sweat is just going everywhere. Literally. <laughs> he's working. I'll tell you, he's working. <laughs> well, so when Shishkin connects upon Riojas, you see the sweat fly off the body or off the head of Riojas. Absolutely. The jab right to the abdominal region. Yes, yes. Riojas throws a left, but to no avail. Yes, he's earning his check, though. He didn't come to lay down. No, he didn't. And he's coming forward, trying to throw, but it's clear that Vladimir Shishkin has so many more tools than that of the 36-year-old veteran. And Oscar. I was watching Sugar Hill over in the corner, and I kind of see what he's trying to do. He's trying to get uh, Shishkin... To, to land a good right hand. He's trying to give him a faint a little bit and bam, right down the middle with the right hand. As we have, we are at the midway point of the eighth round. The jab snapping back the head of Riojas. Right oh, I took to the body. 
You know, right hand down the middle would actually do it. See, it actually do it. It is all Vladimir Shishkin who was aiming to take his record to 11 and 0. As we pointed out, he's ranked in the top 10 of the super middleweight rankings by the WBC. The title is vacant. Yes. Under a minute left, there's a big right hand. Ropes and it is target practice for yes. Vladimir Shishkin. Could this signal the end oh. for the 36 year old Shishkin trying to team? He unloads a right hand and now Riojas bending over, complaining about a shot behind the head. Yes, and there's a right hand by Shishkin and Riojas trying to tie up. And it's good we got a great referee and Frank Garza, who actually is a WBC referee too. He's not going to just jump in there and stop the fight unless it really needs to be stopped. And Sugar Hill Stewart telling him he wants to go in and out. <laughs> Generate the power from your legs. He yes. was so with the sense of... Tell Shishkin... 10, Ray Flores, K9 Bundridge, along with Corey Erdman in the studio. Shishkin undefeated at 10 and 0 with six knockouts. Ooh. Battling Oscar Rios. There's Ooh. a big right hand. Down he goes. That's the right hand he was talking about. There it go. Man. Ooh. He's numb. Riojas, it may only be a matter of time. Oh. Shishkin going on the attack, trying to finish off. The 36-year-old the left took to the body. Shishkin driving him back with the oh, right. It won't be long. Riojas in a world of trouble. Left hook, he can barely defend himself. The referee in charge of vicious left hook to the body by Shishkin. Shishkin teeing off, and this one is over. Shishkin Man. remains undefeated with a dominating one-sided demolition over Oscar Riojas. Very impressive. Yes, very impressive.